Kacheva leads the uh, clean and jerk standings. Uh, of course, these are B, C and D group lifters. We haven't had the A group go yet. 131 is what they'll have to eclipse if they want to go past Likacheva of Russia from the B group, who is just 19 years old and uh, certainly wouldn't have uh, disgraced herself at all on this A group stage, though uh, we were talking before that she could be right up there with that 108 snatch. In the end, she uh, wouldn't have been as high as we thought uh, outside the top eight. And with a 1-3-1 clean and jerk, well, what will the best do here? Maybe as high as... Uh, Somewhere around 145, maybe, is possible. The highest posted is Deng Wei of China for her opener at 140. So this is Escobar Guerrero of Ecuador. And she's coming out to kick us off here. Three lifts each in the clean and jerk. 122 is going to be her opener. She's down in 12th after the snatch. 105 is what she did there. And that's only eight kilograms behind the lead. It's very tight. It's a relatively solid first attempt. 122 is five kilos down on her best, but that was set back in 2010. Escobar has a lot of experience behind her. Three-time Olympian. You can watch here, she just drives the bar off her shoulders, catches it with her hands a bit wider. That makes the jerk a little easier. Watch the positioning of her feet. Not only are they going forwards and backwards, they're actually moving to the side slightly as well. That gives her a much greater base of support. Very stable in the overhead position. Well, in many ways, the clean and jerk, more a test of the raw strength of the athlete. Standing up with a heavier weight, short jerk overhead. Some athletes... Are Quite a small gap between the snatch and the clean and jerk. Others can be uh, quite large. Yulia Kalina of Ukraine snatched a 108, going for 125 here. That's her opener. That's plenty of leg strength, that's for sure. So Kalina really is impressing me with her technical ability. It is absolute perfection in every way. Very solid, dynamic, precise. I'm globally happy. I'd say she's trying to stay focused, just taking her time walking off. Drive strong out of the squat position. Dip and drive to arm's length. Super dynamic. Yeah, and, and just incredibly efficient as well. There was no wasted energy there. Took just enough time to get the pause. Well, they say the definition of skill is uh, movement performed with minimum ease, maximum certainty, and that was most definitely a skillful lift. Well, this is a, a bit of a surprise for... Uh, an early start to the clean and jerk. It's going to be a Romola Begars, who just won the snatch, coming out just the third lifter of 12 in the A group. And we thought, we knew she had quite a, a low posting for her clean and jerk, but we thought after the snatch she may well come out a lot higher, but no. 127. Two, two. Oh, no legs. And I tell you what, that's seven kilos over a weight that she has posted on the international stage before. So this is a big ask. This is a big starting weight. But as you just said, she was one of the last out on the snatch. There's only been a 10 minute break between snatch and clean and jerk. She's going to have 10, 12 minutes maximum to warm up from start to finish. I ask you this, Michaela. I mean, 113 she just snatched. That's only 14 kilos more. And she could, I mean, OK, it was out in front a little bit, but she looks like she almost couldn't stand up with the weight. That's amazing. I think she's fatigued from the warm-up. Usually these athletes will take anywhere from seven, eight, maybe nine lifts 
uh, on different weights in the warm-up room, starting with just the bar, maybe 55, 75, 95, 105, and they'll keep working up and up and up. But she's only had 10 minutes. Usually it's a lift every couple of minutes. She's going to have been rushing in the warm-up, so almost certainly is fatigued. Colombian Perez to Guerrero, her opener, big smile, she's happy with that, uh, it was a solid looking lift. Two whites, one red, was there a little wobble there? Oh, it didn't look bad to me, the was very strong, just watch the dip and the drive now for the jerk, she moves to her left, there we are, all the way, oh there we are, it was a press out on her right arm. And left as we're looking at it, there was movement in the elbow. The referee was quite right to fail that. I mean, I guess you could argue that Bar was still moving as well. There was a certain amount of oscillation, though I don't think she quite timed it right. If that's what she was planning on doing. Maria Escobar Guerrero of Ecuador. Going for one, two, seven. This equals her personal best. Working extremely hard to stand. See the hips move, moving now. Ooh, wobble, wobble. Someone's in trouble. Yes, the core strength not quite there. You see the way she jerks, she goes very wide, doesn't she, to uh, help compensate for that. I just wonder how heavy Bagaj has actually managed to go in the warm-up room. Did she even finish her warm-up before they called her to the platform? Let's hope that she can come out here and nail this attempt. Well, this would be a, a strange story, wouldn't it? If she were to win the gold medal in the snatch and then bomb in the cleaner jerk. She can get this one in, the pressure's off a bit. Failed the opener. Doesn't have the legs. Bravo. Does have the legs, oh, yes. wow. Needed the reflex at the bottom, though. Always so good in the overhead position. You've got to put money on her jerking it if she can stand. But that clean has to be better on a third attempt. She has to drive straight out. Given a red light there. Was that a left arm, perhaps? It was the left-hand side judge looking across. Let's have a look here. The clean is OK. Allowed to bounce and stay there as long as you want. No problem so far. Oh. She says it with slightly bent arms at the end there, doesn't she? But that's, of course, not a red light. Let's have a look here. It must be off the jerk. I might have to come off this slow motion for the next athlete. Let's have a look. There's absolutely mm. nothing wrong with that. Oscillation, was it maybe? Just a touch? I'm inventing reasons here, but that, that would be the only other thing, I think. It wasn't. It, to me, it didn't look like deliberate oscillation, but there's nothing wrong with the actual movement. 127 again. Failed it last time, hit 122 in her opener. Last lift. Escobar Guerrero. Oh, head's gone. What a shame. That would have been a, a three kilo personal best on her total. Well, we saw her stand up with it last time and then her uh, hips were hula hooping around and she just didn't really have the core strength to deal with it. And, uh... Here is the young Kazakh. Three out of three in her snatch. Just had a big sniff of smelling salts there and uh, Obviously, sent a sharp pain up her nose. It's just ammonia. Something you can get in any pharmacy. It just wakes you up, and sometimes it can actually just hurt you. Gotta be careful. One to eight kilograms. Still has 30 seconds to focus. Oh, didn't even set herself. What was that? She was all over the place mentally there. Wow. That was probably the worst 
first attempt we've seen at these World Championships thus far. Never set, head was down, chest was down. What was she thinking? I mean, you can hardly blame smelling salts, but she looked absolutely fine there before the coach stuck it in her face. She had a huge smell of it and then grabbed her, her forehead. Um, and I guess, it's, you know, if you do hit it too hard, it's a bit like drinking a cold drink super fast. It can give you a, a bit of brain freeze, as it were. Likacheva still in the lead from the B group, 1-3-1. One, one. Begage moves into second by virtue of body weight ahead of Perez Tigrero of Colombia. So what will, will the Kazakh come back out and do? Will she follow herself? We uh, assume so. It looks like it. In which case, she'll have two minutes to come out and do it. Now this would be an enormous uh, reversal of mental state, having uh, just grown in confidence throughout the snatch, hitting three out of three, 103 to 113 for a massive personal best. But this is it. She looks like she's switched on. The same face we saw before the snatch, so hopefully... Yorocheva can get this 1-2-8 up. Much better, look at that, super easy to stand. Just staggered forward. Shaking a lot there. Good overhead. No problems, you just wonder what happened with that first attempt. Was she not switched on mentally, or was it just mistimed? But that was a great recovery, very determined. Good extension, caught it with her chest down, hence the step forwards. See that bar's really high on her windpipe, struggling to breathe, struggling to get the oxygen in. See her whole body shaking. Great recovery. So something uh, a viewer pointed out to me yesterday, uh, that yellow sticker in the centre, it is actually slightly off-centre. <laughs> a little bit off-putting. As a lifter, you wouldn't notice it. This would be one of those lifters, though, that just drops very quickly. If you were using the yellow as a centre point, it uh, just fractionally put you to one side, but I haven't seen a lifter like that for a while. China now. Deng Wei coming out at what we think is going to be 130 for her opener, and that is way, way down, 10 kilos down on what she had posted before the start of this competition. So Deng not feeling confident. She only just got her last snatch at 110. So maybe the coaches are just trying to pump her full of confidence here. She's done that. 144 as recently as six weeks ago, so 14 kilos more. She looks very anxious. Great overhead, a bit slow and sluggish through the first part of the lift. She just looks like she's not there. Yes, yeah, staggering off there. And, uh, well, maybe the bar was sitting on her windpipe a little bit, but uh, it's a good lift. So she's in the game, as it were, and uh, it moves her 130 onto a 240 total, which is equal with Begage. And uh, one kilo behind Gorachava of Kazakhstan at the moment. So Kalina. Okay, for her second, 1-3-1. One, one. We still have six athletes to join this clean and jerk. Yeah, she's got it. That's there. Small movement in the shoulders overhead, but that's allowed. It's only the elbows. We're not allowed to see flex. That was a good six kilo improvement. She's had the same walk off stage every time, hasn't she? It looks almost as if that she was carrying an injury or certainly an enormous burden in life. <laughs> Another good lift. Well, these weights are going to hurt. I'm sorry, but this is in excess of double body weight. 
These girls are under significant strain. You can just see the jarring through the wrists, elbows, shoulders there. That travels down as well through the back, the hips, the knees. Every muscle in her body is working overtime just to stabilize herself, let alone move the weight up. Yes, yeah, she's an experienced athlete as well, but uh, that's what we were talking about earlier. Off mic, adrenaline at this stage. And it, uh, it once covered a uh, slightly dislocated shoulder for you, so it can cover a lot, can't oh, it? Adrenaline can mask so much in terms of pain and discomfort. These girls will be feeling it tomorrow, but then they're not going to go and lift heavy tomorrow. They're not going to go and lift heavy now for several weeks. It'll be back to the drawing board, back off the intensity. Second lift for the Colombian, 1-3-2. Oh, there goes the knee support. Oh, that's off-putting. That is really off-putting. Just at the wrong time there. Yeah, it's uh, one of the problems with using these kind of knee supports. They're more powerlifting knee wraps as opposed to weightlifting. Why do weightlifters use them? Um, I guess they can get them as tight as they want. Clean was very good, very strong. She yeah, didn't she's, split uh, wide enough. Yeah, I think she's using the ones with Velcro, <coughs> which actually is a, is a bad idea. You really need the, the really long ones that you can tuck in and tie up. And that's a simple mistake that shouldn't happen. Now, uh, Begage, will she do this? Final lift of the tournament. She's had gold in the snatch. A clean and jerk, not much heavier. 132. Barely stood up with 127. Well, she's got a chance. She has a good jerk. That bar is not sat well on her shoulder. She's adjusted it. No way. Well, that's I don't super. think she's. I don't know. I saw movement in that elbow. She's gonna celebrate. I mean, whether she gets it or not, it is so impressive. It's 12 that, kilos up on her personal best. 12 kilos. It's massive. After winning gold in the snatch, I really hope she does get this because what a battle it was just to stand up with it. 127, wow. the opener. If you were watching earlier, she couldn't even stand up with it. She'd only just won the snatch. She only upped it 14 kilos from that movement. And uh, look at that. That is a tremendous effort. And just to now reset herself, but just watch the elbows here when she drives overhead. <sighs> Sorry, I stand by that. Double elbow press out. I would have failed that. She's done well to get away with it, and that is 12 kilos up on any weight she's ever posted on the international stage. The total now is 245. It was 223. I mean, look at the strain. You can see it in her neck and every fibre of her there. I'm just amazed she isn't counting stars how she stuck that overhead and uh, yeah I, now i see it in slow motion there is definitely a bit of mo movement there but it was so quick and i think everyone was so caught up with her getting it she's been given it now the colombian 132 again her final no that's a weight she probably should have done well she's done a 135 previously back in 2012 so yes it's a weight she's capable of and she'll be very frustrated being so far down eight kilos below her best not a great day just watching it doesn't really move her feet wide enough to enable her to drop lower never quite to arm's length Pim Sri Sirakar of Thailand Coming out for her opener at 1.33. And uh, interestingly, Deng Wei, who did 1.30 earlier, big surprise the Chinese came in so early, has posted her second at 1.40. So hopefully things back on track there for the Chinese. Well, lots of cues, lots of encouragement from the coaches on the side. Very good, very efficient. Good solid opener. She did three out of three in the snatch. 108, her final effort there, but that was only good enough for eighth, but it only leaves us six kilos back from the leaders, and that was a good opener.
Lovic Carver of Belarus. 1 3 3. So she's come down a little bit from what she posted. Was that bar still moving? Your feet need to be in line. And it looks like a toy weight. <laughs> so compact, so dynamic, and bearing in mind she hasn't grown in terms of height since she was a 53 kilo lifter. She's just got stronger and stronger. She does everything well here. Times are all to perfection. The bar still moving there a little bit, and uh, almost mistimed the whip on the bar. But yeah, if you can catch that whip right, the bar will twang up overhead. It will fly. She is renowned for oscillating the bar. Not a great split position either. You can just see how much that oscillation helps with driving the bar up overhead because she hardly had to move her feet. Yeah, it's a, such a whippy bar, this. Cho Hoi Sim. <laughs> One, three, three kilograms. This is her opener. Ooh, knees just coming together there, struggling with the leg strength. Uh -huh. Much better in the jerk phase. Clean, look very lethargic. So strong. Funny enough, her hands are almost in the same same position as where the snatch was. It, I mean, it's quite a good thing, really, to not have long arms because it doesn't have to travel a long way. Fine mechanics are so important in weightlifting. Marina Gorocheva. Really aggressive here. 133. It certainly worked in the snatch. That's the more technical event, really. You need to be aggressive for this. That was the best clean we've seen. Brilliant. An aggressive jerk. Bar that one blip on her first attempt. Five out of six lifts. Unbelievable lifting. Well, she was one of the two women that finished on 113 kilograms at the end of the snatch. And both of those women have already checked out. So uh, the leaders from the snatch unusually out very early in the clean and jerk. So it's wide open here as to who is going to win this. You just absolutely cannot say. That I think there's a very good chance Tima Turieva may yet come through. She did 112, only a kilo behind this woman in the snatch, and she hasn't opened her account in the clean and jerk yet. Last year's champion. Julia Kalina now for her third and final. This is at four kilograms above her personal best. Just steadies herself on her heels. So close, but so far. I mean, that couldn't have been any different from the Belarusians' uh, oscillating, bouncing bar. She stood up and killed it dead as you said you can kill it that it's easy if you to want. kill it it's hard to keep it moving there's a technique to oscillating the bar and i never tried it because it's not allowed but i know a lot of these uh, countries do try it they do try and oscillate the bar they practice it so that on this kind of stage they can gain that extra advantage with the whip it's not allowed it, in my view should be clamped down on by the technical controllers the, the jury the referees but still lifters are getting away with it Outstrides Lin Tzu Shi, world record holder in the clean and jerk. One four five, her world record set just six weeks ago. But she's lacking confidence from the snatch. Things didn't go so well there. I have to question how well the warm up went as well because she's just moved her starting weight down five kilos. Not firing today. This at all. Well, this is the problem with, with competing so recently in the Asian Championships, the Asian Games, to now having to come here and trying to repeat those kind of performances. The body needs time to recover.
Yeah, I mean, I want to say that the Chinese have done it as well, but actually in a lot of the categories, the Chinese have, have uh, subbed in uh, the, the B string or, or played the B string in, in the Asian Games and now are, are using the A string at the World Championships, but they have such strength and depth. So, Zhou Pok Hyang of the People's Republic of Korea. One of two North Koreans. Both of them did 108 in the snatch. Joe, the junior world record holder at this discipline from two years ago, 136 she did then. So uh, a kilo under her own junior world record and uh, she doesn't do it, but she could do that. Yeah, just missed time the whip. The bar was definitely oscillating. It's not massive. It wasn't a big oscillation. By that, I mean a big movement of the weights on the end of the bar. But the, the bar was still moving and I think she mistimed that. If you can use it to your advantage, it will fly up, mistime it, <laughs> it comes straight back down. Yeah, there's definitely, uh, you see people using oscillation in, in different ways, don't you? There's Some people keep it moving very fast and then try and catch it. And uh, As for uh, Novakava of Belarus, I'm looking forward to seeing her second one to uh, uh, have a go and seeing whether she does it again. She's down in fourth, uh, Siraka of Thailand. Lee's at the moment in the clean and jerk. Still some big names to uh, come through there. Deng Wei all the way down on 130 kilos is an eighth, but she obviously felt comfortable having dropped down to such a lightweight, built her confidence up, and she's looking to come back at maybe 140. Well, uh, I said just moments ago that uh, the defending champion, the Russian, could be the one to come through and do it. With so much talk around all of the other athletes, Ling and Deng having pushed the world records to the limit six weeks ago. The Russian, in many ways, has been the forgotten woman here, but she is still to come out. She's the only competitor who hasn't taken a lift yet. It's Joe following herself here. Having just failed 135. Oh, she desperately needs this attempt. This will only put her up into bronze medal position. She needs both lifts to advance in the competition. Soft overhead, but I didn't see movement. I think she's okay. Yeah, I think the world was going dark there right at the end, but she managed to get it in, hopefully. Let's make the confirmation. One red light. And uh, that was presumably the, the right judge looking over at her right arm here. So let's have a look. Nothing wrong with the clean. That was very strong. Pressing out though, the elbows are soft, but there's no movement. It could be oh. soft elbows or it could be oscillation. They failed. Passes the breeze test. It must be a good one. <laughs> so, <laughs> Tureyeva comes out for her opener. The final woman to join in this clean and jerk competition. The defending champion, one three six. Explosive through the middle. Nice overhead. Just watch the change in speed on the replay as the bar passes the knees. Powerful, fast, explosive leg drive. That's where all the upward momentum is generated on the bar. So fast underneath. Well, in some ways, it's hard to know just how far Turiyeva can push this. She's competed at heavier body weights in the past at the 69 she's done 148 as uh, her personal best hard to see her doing that at this body weight now here is the Chinese Deng Wei she did that 130 opener that was very light for her this is 136 <laughs> Yeah. 
，送好两杯。别动，别动，别动，好。Better than her first attempt. 哎，越来越好。哎，越来越好了。Well, it's it's sort of a case where the very best, like Deng Wei, and well, this woman about to come out, Lin, are a little down on their best, and. Well, some of the others are up on their best. It's making for a very tight competition. This uh, could have uh, three, four, five women coming down to just a matter of a kilo or two for the world title. Impossible to say where it's going at the moment. Here's the world record holder, Lynn. To oh, that's a failure. A good lift. Hang on, they, I, they, uh, don't quote me on that. They've changed the rules. Did it go past the knees? That's... They changed the rules, so if the bar came off the platform, then it was a failure. But I think you're right. I think they've changed it back. The bar has to come past the knees for it to, to count as an attempt. Yeah, there's, uh, there's been some rule changes on that. And, uh, well, we'll get confirmation as soon as we see the white lights. Yes, indeed. Uh, as you do uh, see uh, the Iranians sometimes doing something similar. Just lifting it off the platform a little bit. And it looked uh, deliberate, didn't it? That didn't look deliberate. That looked like she started, went, hang on, what am I doing here? Put it back down again. There's no change in facial expressions, which is why it looked like you know, she was staying focused throughout. So easy once it was uh, in the right position, though. Clearly has the power. Obviously, she's the world record holder. That world record is uh, 10 kilos more set six weeks ago. So perhaps she'll switch on now. Siraka of Thailand going for her second 137. Oh, dizzy. She's okay. Bar on the windpipe is cutting off the oxygen to the brain. Needs to undo her belt. So uh, she could well do this uh, and we'll get one more attempt at it anyway. She might even go up, depending on how she feels. 133 looks really comfortable. Just yeah, sitting really high on the clavicle. It's going to make you go dizzy. There's not much you can do at that point. The world closes in and all you see is darkness. To be honest, she should almost be going for 138 anyway. This is only going to take her up four kilos in terms of total. And it would take her, at the moment, from eighth up into she has. fourth. And if she goes a kilo more, it'll take her into the medals. She has. She's put her weight up. You see the change on the board in the warm-up room. Glad the coaches are listening. So, Lin Su Shi leading with 136 ahead of Deng. That's on body weight there. You can see just, uh, well, actually, there's a, a kilogram and four grams between the two of them. Lin quite a bit lighter. Well, we were chatting earlier, a little controversy around her use of oscillation here. Let's watch as she goes for 138 kilograms. Novikava of Belarus. Whoa, 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 whoa. No chance to use it there. She was off balance in the front squat. Just, I think the body just buckled as she stood up comfortably, took a couple of steps forward. Now, as she stepped forward, I think her body buckled. There, whoops. Yeah, body buckles, that's it, bar's gone. Cho Hoi Sim comes out for her second. Did one, three, three. So, uh, from her body language, she. Hasn't felt very convinced about any of the lifts. She's looked quite close to her limit. So a big jump here, five kilograms. Her personal best. Well, one, two, five is what we've got recorded. So a huge personal best. So slow off the floor. Really good overhead. 
Isn't it great to see so many personal bests being smashed? I'd like to see her smile now. Competition's over. <laughs> You've just blown your best out of the water. <laughs> well, I guess it's it not, is, so no, but she, one more, she one more, could one more. go further. Yeah, but this is massive. And oh, 13 kilos over her best with one attempt remaining. And it's taken her from a 241 total to a 246 total, which moves her from ninth to. Uh, well, 246, second place, Lynn, she's uh, heavier, so third place. Gold medal in the clean and jerk at the moment, third place overall. One attempt really needs to consolidate that and try and push a little bit more. So, but there are still seven women in this competition. Six of whom have final attempts. Torayeva has two attempts left, so there could be a lot of change yet. Especially considering the wall's so tight at the end of the snatch. 138 then for uh, Siraka. And this takes her from ninth overall. To somewhere in the medals. The weight hit her hard at the bottom, but had the legs to stand. Really good overhead. Well done indeed, yes. And despite there being six uh, women still in this competition, <laughs> you just never know. Uh, they're all going to be really pushing it now. Third it is uh, in terms of body weight. She's heavier than Lynn, who's on the same total at the moment. So uh, right now... She is on the podium in terms of overall, leading the clean and jerk. But uh, could end up seventh in the clean and jerk, you never know. I don't think I've seen a competition at the World Championships, men's or women's, that's been this close. Oh, Novikova, can she correct that mistake? Very costly mistake on the previous attempt. The clean was easy, as it is again. <laughs> wow, that's what happens when you try to oscillate. That's what happens when you try and rush the lift. Mistime it, and it goes nowhere. That's disappointing. Yeah, as she squatted down there to jerk it overhead at the end, the oscillation just sort of fought against her a bit, didn't it? And uh, suddenly, 130-odd uh, kilos feels more like 160, 70, 80 kilos. Yeah, she's got the leg strength. Why doesn't she just do it within the rules? Use the legs to drive overhead, split the feet wide. Look, the feet hardly even move. They need to be a good six inches further forwards, further back. Zhou so, Pok Yang, one, three, nine. So, four kilos up on her second. She failed her first. This is her last lift of the World Championships. <laughs> take her into second overall from eighth as well. No, she's going to have to settle for uh, somewhere outside the medals. Across the board, 11th in snatch, despite being five kilos behind the leaders there. And uh, so close, yet so far in this category. She came up onto her toes. So, so hard to recover. These are massive weights, Six, sub 63 kilo body weight. Now up to one, almost up to 140. Yeah, I mean, she was unlucky there. She's 11th in snatch, five women all did 108, and she's the heaviest. So uh, there's uh, underlying stories throughout here. It's so close. Well, it was flashing Cho of North Korea to come out, you know, 139. She's up to, to 140. So Turayeva must now come out at 140 as it's her second lift. She's the only woman left with another lift after this. She leads overall at the moment. Well, she had a two kilo advantage. She now has six. With one attempt remaining, she is in a commanding position. Very much so, yeah. Who, who can really attack back from this? Well, uh, in second place, it's Lynn at the moment, who's got the world record in the clean and jerk. So I guess she's the obvious. 
Well, do you know what? If nobody can overtake Turieva on their final attempts, it wouldn't surprise me if we see Turieva going for a new world record. She's yes. got a six kilo advantage at the moment that she sat comfortably with. World record is Linz at 145. So we're only yeah, five kilos away. It wouldn't be uh, out with the realms of doability to go for 146 for Turieva, especially if there's no pressure on her. But here's where the pressure will come most likely from Lynn, the world record holder. This will only be good enough for a silver medal overall. Yes, she's not taken enough weight to uh, no. steal it off the Russian. This is a surprise. And, well, maybe that's why the power has gone. She still sits in the silver medal position overall. And uh, surprisingly in fourth in both of the disciplines. The world record holder. Six weeks ago she set the world record. And here she is just way, way down. Fourth place on the snatch, fourth on the clean and jerk, but still sat in silver medal on the total. So she's still there with a, a chance of a medal. This shows what a confused competition oh, it is. We've had lifters dominant in the snatch, but nowhere near on the clean and jerk. That's why it's it's like this. You've got to be consistent all the way through. So going for 140. Oh, tremendous leg strength. Sticks it, and if she can hold, yes. Oh, Gold wow. medal position then for the clean and jerk. She's lighter than Turieva. They've both done 140, and she goes from third to first in the clean and jerk. And that'll take her total up to 248 as well. And it'll move her from fourth to second in the overall. So she's suddenly in a brilliant position, having finished ninth in the snatch. And not really been in the running or the talk before this World Championships. All the talk would have been about uh, her compatriot, Joe, the junior world record holder, who uh, is all the way down in eighth now and has no more attempts. We have two women left then, Deng Wei and Turieva. Deng Wei's gone for 142, six kilos up on her previous the Chinese coaches have tried to do a confidence builder since a poor start in the snatch. This will take her to 252. She's lighter than Turieva. She'd go into the lead of the World Championships with one reply left from the Russian. I don't believe it. My oh, goodness. What an incredible recovery. You, from her first attempt, she got a starting weight from 140 all the way down to 130. Did not look good throughout, as we can see here. Just looks wobbly, unstable, not comfortable at all. What a recovery. She's in gold medal position at the moment. There is only one lifter now that can take that gold away from her. Turieva of Russia, who is looking superb. Can she reply? I mean... After two lifts in the snatch, she was staggering off stage, just like there, having failed 110 twice, looking really, really poor, having bombed out last year at the World Championships, and now she's in the lead. So, a reply needed from Turieva. By virtue of body weight, she is in second. She needs this lift to take the world title, to regain it. Always forward. Recovers well. Oh, body's gone. On the windpipe, gone dizzy, blacked out. And, uh, well, wow. the scriptwriter, he's done a fabulous job of uh, making this full of drama again at these World Championships. Turayeva looked like she was going to uh, charge through there and take the world title. And Deng Wei has put together an incredible series in the clean and jerk. The pressure too much. She didn't need 142. This was a kilo too heavy, really, in the end. And, well, just on the windpipe, it happens. Absolutely gutted for her. The worst time for that to happen. But she made the clean hard. It was tough standing up. You see, that's not an autograph she's being uh, asked for. That's uh, 
drug testing forms. Top three athletes will be tested. Well, that's a, a complete uh, turnaround for what we saw in the snatch for Deng Wei. Let's not forget she was down in uh, fifth position, having failed two of her lifts there. Clean and jerk, three out of three, Cho, three out of three for second. Turieva, two out of three, gets third with 140. Of actual body weight, she lost out to second there. And, uh, well, it was a very tight competition in the end. First and second, equal on weights. Deng Wei, Deng Wei wins the total by virtue of body weight. The 16 grams in body weight in the end was the decider. 252, both of them. And that is a massive total. It really is at 63s. Good lifting. Not a million miles away for the 261 kilo world record total in third. Cho on 248. Well, Deng Wei can afford a smile or two now. I'm afraid for Turieva, she's lost her world title. She's no longer world champion, but she put up a really impressive fight. She'll get a pair of bronzes from the individuals, a silver in the overall. This woman, though, gets a gold. Begaj, magnificent in the snatch. Where was she in the clean and jerk? Ninth, and therefore seventh overall. Well, we still have the men's 85s coming up at 1300 British time, 1 p.m. 1400 if you're on the continent. CET. Lots of action still to come here today. Monday Night Football, live and exclusive. Pittsburgh Steelers at Tennessee Titans, 1.15 a.m. With highlights Tuesday on British Eurosport 2 HD.